But was it rape or was the sex consensual? Intending to prove the latter, Jeff Da Moses' attorney, John Morrison, painted a picture for jurors through the cross-examination of the woman who says she was raped twice by Moses in the jungle along Route 3 in Dededo. Morrison's line of questioning centered around the two sexual encounters and the events leading up to her walking on the road that night. The woman testified that she arrived at work that day for her shift at 4.45 p.m. and was scheduled to work till 11 p.m. that night. When she arrived, her aunt was there to repossess the vehicle the woman had been driving, taking the keys and $225, leaving the woman without transportation. While her boyfriend was supposed to pick her up from work, she says that she got off early and could not reach her boyfriend or family members. Still heated from the encounter with her aunt, the woman said she decided to walk home to her apartment in Dededo. The route took her through the NCS road where she encountered Moses, who asked her for a lighter. Morrison asked the woman if she perceived Moses to be a threat at that point. She testified that she didn't and thought they were going to go their separate ways, further stating that they began talking as Moses asked her questions and asked if he could follow her home, to which she stated no. That's when the victim began to feel that he was going to do something to her. Morrison pointed out that the woman followed Moses into the jungle, which was about 10 feet from the road where cars were passing by, further pointing out that she removed her pants. The woman stated that she did so because Moses was attempting to remove them, saying, I told him I will be the one to take them off. Morrison stressed in his line of questioning that the woman did not attempt to run to the road for help during the two sexual assaults, alluding to it being consensual.